Chapter 11, Section 2, Introduction to Process Mining. We have seen that there are two approaches to support business process monitoring, either by help of dashboards that show statistic information, or by the help of process mining that represents performance-related information by the help of process models. The key input to these different types of process monitoring support are event logs. Event logs capture data of processes that have been executed as much as they are represented in databases and in event streams. What can we do with these event logs? Process mining is the discipline that is concerned with techniques that can extract interesting information from event log. We can use these event logs to automatically discover a business process model. The discovered model helps us to understand what the data actually tells us about the different cases in terms of a model. This discovered process model is an as-is process model that captures those parts of the process that are stored in information systems. A second family of process mining techniques is conformance checking. Here, we do not only take the event log as input, but we also take a normative process model as an input that we may have created earlier. The ambition of conformance checking is to understand to which degree this input process model is in line with the behavior captured by the event log. Conformance checking tells us a degree of how much they are in line, and conformance checking also points us to particular cases that are not compliant with this input model. We can also take event logs as input for deviance analysis. You see here that we have event log and event log dash. This means that we can, for example, split the event log by half. For example, by considering a certain attribute. For example, if cases have been running late or not. Deviance analysis helps us to understand the differences between these two parts of the event log. In this way, we can identify characteristics that distinguish fast cases from cases that run late. Finally, there's a fourth group of analysis that is called performance analysis. Process mining performance analysis also takes an input and an, uh, an input model and an event log as input. As an output, we enrich the input process model with statistical information that we find in the event log. For example, we may want to record how often a certain activity has been executed and how often a certain path has been taken. The event log also tells us how long it has been taken to progress from one activity to another. All these techniques belong to the family of process mining.
let's look at how event logs are structured. There are some minimum requirements. Often we have event logs available as a table. Event log data in such a table can be structured as follows. We need to know which activities have happened. You see here that the activities are called register request, examine thoroughly, check ticket, decide, reject request, register request, check ticket, examine casually, decide and pay compensation. Each of these events has happened at a certain point in time. Therefore, we need a column to record the timestamps of these activities. We see here in this case that the timestamps range over a period of time from the end of December 2010 until the second week of January of 2011. Each event also has an event ID and has further properties such as resources or cost. Most important for process mining is that we can associate each of the observed activities with a particular case. Here we see that two case IDs are recorded, case 1 and case 2. If we look at the data here, we can see that case 1 unfolded differently than case 2. In case 1, we first registered the request. We examined thoroughly, checked the ticket, decided and rejected the request. While for case 2, we also registered the request, checked the ticket, examined casually, in this case, decided and paid the compensation to the customer. Process mining is concerned with identifying the commonalities and the differences of these different paths of execution and represented as a process model.